This is Ian, we've got Tom, and we've got Jeff. And it was pretty sensational. I enjoyed it. I think the clip with the four slip, that's always great. Jason, how are you today? Awesome. How did you find it? Fantastic. Hello, guys. How did you enjoy the course? Incredible. Only positive thing. Yeah. Evelyn, so how did you find the course today, Evelyn? Absolutely. Astounding. Brilliant. What, insightful. Wait. Goodbye. Cheers. The first fascial research conference where we brought together real, you know, laboratory researchers with practitioners. But understand that you have a luxury that I don't have. You can eliminate all the extraneous variables. In fact, you must eliminate all the extraneous variables in order to have something that you can say scientifically. I don't have that luxury. I am in my practice room juggling a hundred different variables. The person's sociology, their psychology, their mood, how many coffees they've had, what their body is really going to take, their age and where the tissue is going to go. I've got a hundred things that I cannot afford not to pay attention to and you can afford not to pay attention to. Seated. Guys in the fitness industry, can you go over there please and do a traditional lunge for me? Guys, can you see which direction they're going in? Sagittal plane, every time. Do a non-traditional lunge for me. Oh, nice as. Okay. My four positions, which we'll discuss over the weekend, allow us the opportunity to represent everyday movements. So I'm going to take this to the bony structure. Why have I gone to the fibula head? It's part of the ankle. What has Tom spoken about today? The tissue between the tibia and the fibula. Interosseous membrane. What does it do? In motion. When my foot hits the ground, what does it do? All I'm doing is I'm just taking that tissue. Now, Tom can do this himself, but I just want him to breathe, relax, and unwind. I might start on the side that's less intense. Why? Trust. The adrenal system lives around about there, the diaphragm has a huge effect, breathing's going to be major. Okay? If I affect the right side, will it affect the left? The beautiful part about it is we can go to a side that's successful and see what happens. So I'm going to bring, that's it. So by the way, I just want to say what a terrible influence Ian has been on me. This is, this is the first time I've worn a t-shirt to work <laughs> in about 20 years. I don't know how to tell you, especially I don't know how to tell trainers to train that. It's fascial, you can't train it as muscle. But I see so many women post hysterectomy because the whole cylinder, the whole canister of the organs drops and because the heart is at the top of that and the heart is attached to C6, they, uh, the pericardium is attached to C6, they end up with lower neck pain and the cause is, you know, they're not going back to their gynecologist because of the neck pain, right? Nobody puts these things together. Do you get the idea? We're coming around here and if anything down because you see how his scapulae are climbing up his body so we'd like them to come down onto his back a little bit. All I'm trying to do is rock backwards and forwards to roll down the septum which is doing what to, this, to the tissue? Just creating a separation. We get lots of people who get lots of adhesions, lots of stickiness in this region. Why? <laughs> All right, we were in the middle of the question of what makes yeah. these things work. And the funny thing, the funny answer to this question, one was nitric oxide, but then I got sidetracked. The second answer is oxytocin. Oxytocin, love. Oxytocin, the love <laughs> drug. But if you want to train the elasticity in your fascia, you've got to bounce. And by doing so, like that fellow we saw doing the high jump, you don't use a lot of energy. If I just take the rhythm out a little bit, I'm going to lose the good oscillatory nature of what's going on. Let's get rolling because uh, as you've witnessed already, the three days has now turned into one. And this day I consider to probably be the most important day of the three. Hands up people from Victoria. Great. <laughs> Hands up people from Queensland. Yeah. Good work. Western Australia. Yeah. yeah. Oh, nice. Hey, and they had to come across my camel. That's very impressive. <laughs> Hands up Adelaide. There, yeah, good guy. Yes, yeah. hey. oh, hey. And what about Darwin? Nice job. Fantastic. 
It's fantastic, guys. It's really interesting because... Uh, have one uh, That's New South Wales, buddy. Oh, oh and Jakarta. Yes. That's pretty cool, isn't it? And, and the Kiwis are represented here, aren't they, Bronny? In America. Oh, of course, as, yeah. I'm, I consider him a Noosa person now. There's nothing wrong with being that in. There's nothing wrong with being that in because I know that we can progress people up and down. And I know consistently that's what we do. I know that for a fact. No one goes there and stays there. No one. Doesn't matter how, whether it's a corporate, mother, elite athlete, I don't care who you are, you will never ever stay there. Because you're going to play fuses under stress. You have to come back and we have to work through that process again. Horses do it, dogs do it, cheaters do it, humans do it. We're not infallible. We will break. It's actually quite interesting. The tongue is the most forward stabilizing muscle of the deep front line and you'll see people do that. <laughs> and now we're going to look at the deep front line and this is the picture that uh, Ian looks at to say that the tongue is the forwardmost muscle of the deep front line. Let's go! <laughs> now, push! Push a little bit harder! Push! Can you see and feel how easy movement is? Don't overthink it. What's exciting to me about this particular dialogue that I get to have with Ian that I don't often, you know, I work a lot with various manual therapists and physiotherapists and stuff like that is this interface between how a therapist thinks about emotion in the body and how a trainer thinks about emotion in the body. And I am urging you to have some empathy and compassion for where they might be inside their nervous system because this is mammalian. This work was done on cats. It works on humans but it is not just a human thing, it's a mammalian thing. This stage one, stage two stage three tuning. So your car is not moving but your engine is getting burned up in the process. When that comes up, often people shake. Accelerator brake, accelerator brake, accelerator brake, accelerator brake. That's a natural process. It's a good process. It's a letting go process. It's how those movements get completed in the body. Plantar flex your foot, point your toes, and then look at the bottom of your foot. Well, turn your foot so you're looking at the bottom of it. You feel that tendon come up under your fingers? That is one honking tendon, isn't it? That is the tibialis posterior tendon. Thank you, and it goes backwards. I get to co-present with a lot of people across the world. I haven't had so much fun <laughs> since the dog fell in. But I don't want Tom clones. We don't want Ian clones. We want people to develop this and move the whole thing along in your direction, your particular artistic, personal direction. It's important. If I have tried to impress anything upon you this weekend, it is the importance of the decision you made, the intuitive decision you made to come into this realm. I'm Ian. I'm Tom. I'm Jeff. And we'll see you next time. See you guys. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>